Hey there, welcome to another video on migrating Shopify script to function. In this video, you will learn about volume discount. There are different ways you can offer volume discount and it is a great way to increase average order value. You give more discount if users buy more product. Um, there's, there are two types of offering volume discount. One is when you tell the customer if you buy more product and it works if users buy the same product with more quantity. There is another way. You want to uh, offer a volume discount, but users should buy different SKUs of the quantity. For example, if I am buying 10 products which are different, then I get discount. Not if I get one product with 10 quantity. These are two different things. In this video, we will learn the basic. How do you offer volume discount even if customer buy one product with three quantity? Let's see how we can set up that. Um, first of all, you have to install the function creator app. All you have to do is go to the app store and search for the function creator and you should see this powerx function creator at the time of recording this video the, the name is called powerx but we will see if they change the name cool uh, this is the admin dashboard we previously talked about other types of discount this is what we have this is development store uh, you may have different types of functions here in each function you create campaigns each campaign is going to be the discount the good thing about the, this app is you can create as many campaigns as you need. There is no limits or like 25 uh, automatic discounts. So we have a lot of flexibility. Volume discounts are normally in the product level. But if you want to do it on the second way, please watch the other video, which we um, will record soon uh, based on the unique SQ. By the time you watch this video, it should be after. Uh, so all you have to do is if you don't have any function yet, just click a uh, new function go with the product discount Once you are in the product discount page give it the title or do you want this to be automatic or based on discount code? Most of the time you need it automatic if it is qualifying for certain condition I don't want to create another function because I already have this basic product function You can create up to 25 of these, but on each of them you can have different campaigns if I go to this one, for example, basic product function, you can see we already have three campaigns, but all of them are inactive. You can keep the campaign inactive or you can uh, schedule it in the future if you would like to. For now, let's create a new campaign just by clicking add new. In here, we will select some of the um, conditions that you have here. Volume discount is the one we want. So let's call it volume discount. Uh, this is going to be the campaign name, not displaying anywhere just for the admin. It is going to be volume discount. There are different qualifiers. Do you want to uh, select specific customers like first time customer, VIP customer or whatever? This is the customer qualifier. Or do you want to select based on cart qualifier? If user has a specific line item in the cart, if you have, they have certain quantity based on that. We will come back to this one. This is useful in some other scenario. But for this one, if I scroll down, this is where you have to sit. First of all, what type of discount you want to apply is this percentage or is it a fixed discount well let's go with the percentage uh, for the third type this is where you will specify do you want this to be based on cart quantity or the item quantity you can also say the cart quantity is like uh, the number of product you have in the cart okay so if you have like three items in the cart then you will go with the th with the cart to, um, quantity you can see there are different options here. Let's go with the cart item quantity in the cart. And from here, we will say if we add two product, we are going to give 10% discount. So let's call it 10% uh, volume discount. Let's save it. Let's add another one. Let's say if someone add three products to the cart, we are going to give them 15% discount. This is going to be 15% volume discount let's save this for now and let's save this as well cool we have this campaign and this is active you can drag it at the top if you want all your uh, active campaign to be at the top this is good if uh, you have multiple campaigns the top one will be prioritized so i'll save this for now and let's go and check it out i have an empty cart let's add some product to the cart i'll come here add one product to the cart Okay, we don't get any discount. Add another one. And we still do not. Okay, yes. 
we have a discount. I thought we have another campaign that is running that might cause the issue, but here we go. This is volume discount that's applying in the cart and it will show nicely here. If I increase it to three, it is going to save 15%. If I go above that, you can see it is not having any impact because we did not configure the fourth one. Let's do that quickly and see if it is working or not. If someone buy four product, we are going to give them 20%. So it is going to be 20% volume discount. Let's save this, save the changes. That's it. All right, let's update the cart. Now to do that, let's just increase the quantity. You can see 20%. Even if we get four, we get 20%. If we go three, it will be at 15%. That is the basic of volume discount. A lot of customers will display nice table in here. So user will know that, okay, if I buy more product, you will get more product. You can do that one as well, but for the, um, for the time being, that is basically how you can offer the discount. If you have a developer, they can design a nice uh, widget or a nice dashboard for the customer to select more product in here. There are more example of this. Probably I might record the video um, on how you can design some nice example. In the PDP, it is important to tell the customer that you have a volume discount. If users do not see them, they will not increase the quantity. That's why uh, they will not get the discount. You can see we have one product and we are offering a discount. But if you wanna offer a discount based on unique SKU, please watch the second video. Thank you.